Joel's Knitting Nest. My name is Joy and this is my nest. Today I have a short program for you. Uh, the reason being that I've decided to take a break from this podcast for a little while because of some other projects that I want to be working on. <clears throat> so I won't have as much time to work on this podcast anymore, at least for now. Also, I wanted to give you a health update. This year of the COVID-19 pandemic, <clears throat> we've all been isolated and hiding out in our homes and whatnot. And I myself finally came down with COVID myself. Uh, right before Easter, I got sick and I had to quarantine for 10 days. I am much better now. Thank you very much. <laughs> I survived it. My husband had already gotten his vaccine, so he didn't get the, get it from me, which was great. Uh, so that's my COVID-19 story. To start off today, I want to show you uh, the sweater that I finished for my daughter. So this is called Vernal Awakening. Here's the back. Leaves. I did run into a few issues with the sweater. Uh, it turns out my gauge swatch, well, I don't know. Was, I was shooting for 32 inch chest. And I had mentioned uh, in the previous podcast that I was, thought it was looking a little bit wide. And it actually turned out to be 36 inches after I blocked it. <clears throat> I did end up blocking it twice, and it grew both times I blocked it. Went off fresh off the needles, it was exactly 32 inches. The first time I blocked it, it grew to 34. And then the second time I blocked it, it grew to 36. <laughs> so, I am very afraid to wash it again. <laughs> Anyway, here it is. Also, the sleeves turned out too long, so I ended up shortening the sleeves the same way I did for my cabled cardigan. I took off, in this case, I didn't take off a whole repeat. The sweater ended at the top of one of these leaves, so I took out the whole, one whole leaf worth and ended it at the bottom bottom of what would have been the next leaf and ended it there. And that's why I ended up blocking it twice because after I had read it the cuffs, I wanted to reblock it. So it turned out great. I really like it. It is too big. Um, I'm going to give it to my daughter this weekend and we'll see how it fits her. And what I'm working on now is a long-term project. It is what I am calling Nether Pants. So from this book, Elizabeth Zimmerman's Knitting Almanac, she has a section in here called Nether Garments. And as you can see here on the page are pants or what you might call long johns, or what I might call long johns. But she calls them nether garments, uh, so I've decided to call them nether pants. <clears throat> I made up a little schematic. I measured all my measurements, made up a little schematic, and then based on my gauge, I figured out how many stitches I need for each section. So starting at the ankle and working the way up, it's five inches even, and then 10 inches worth of increases to the knee, and then more increases up to the thigh, and then I'll need to do a second leg, and then I'll join them here, and then work the um, hip portion all in one piece to the round, in the round. So I have started, and I am 
almost to the top hip on my first leg. So here we go. I'm using this project as a stash buster. I'm using up my sock yarn ends, of which I have a whole bag here. This is approximately the size of the bag I started with when I made my sock yarn blanket. That ended up taking me three years, and I have no, no idea how much yarn I ended up using for the blanket, but I do know that when I finished the blanket, I had just as much leftover sock yarn as I did when I started the blanket. So <laughs> it seems like I have never ending supply of sock yarn ends. So here is another way to use up my sock yarn ends. So I am striping this using my various balls. So the pattern starts at the ankle and the first portion of it is knit just like a sock. So you knit the first section even. And then in the back where the calf is, you work increases up to the width you need for the knee and then you work even till you get to the knee part. Then you're, you move your end of row from the back of the calf to the inside seam where you would have like on a pair of pants. So in this case, I moved it a quarter of a round from the back of the calf to the side seam coming up so now if I, there, you can see the increases here. This is my end of round marker. So I moved it over a quarter, a quarter of the way around the circle. And then this is where I'm doing the increases for the thigh. Then when you get to your thigh, number of stitches, you work even to up to the crotch. And that's where you would join the two pieces. So I'm almost done my first leg. So I still have another leg plus the whole bottom to work. So this will take me a while and I have plenty of yarn. I'm not going to run out. I won't need to even open up a new sock yarn ball or anything. And I'm hoping that it will make a decent dent in my sock yarn supply. So as I said, this is going to be a quick update. I do have a couple, at least one other big project that I need to work on. So I'm going to spend time working on that. So I don't know when I will see you again, but if you have your notifications on, you'll find out when I pop up back here on YouTube. I hope that this COVID year has been okay for you and that you have survived Hopefully you have not gotten sick like I ended up doing. And hopefully you will get your vaccine since they are becoming readily available here in April. If you have any questions or comments, as always, let me know down in the comment field. And I will see you at some future date. Take care. Bye-bye.